I think we're ready to start. Good afternoon. Welcome to Salty Snapper and the Wallace Watershed Swimming River Keeper First Annual Songwriting Contest. Again, my name is Gretchen Quarterman and I'm the Executive Director of this organization. And um, we have a little bit of uh, stuff going on in the back room that I want to tell you about. Uh, when you came in the door to the right hand side, there's a room right back there. And in that right back there room, we have our membership area. So if you're not a member, we would love to have you become a member today. Um, we have a silent auction. And there are some uh, little bitty things you can bid a dollar for. And then we have some pretty awesome things. We have a Julie Boland original painting, a $750 value um, that you can bid on. The minimum bid for that is $375. But it is a gorgeous painting. Um, and the painting is entitled Running Springs. So make sure you get up there and look at that. Then the other thing that we have up there is a swag raffle. We have um, some donations from First Magnitude Brewery down in Gainesville. Um, they donated a growler and a couple of pint cups and um, a $20 gift certificate. We have gift certificates from the Manuel de Quarters group, which is uh, this restaurant is one of those groups. Um, there's oh, signs, I'll bring them up in a second. Um, Shibagi, um boat ramp sign and the Lapaha River water trail boat ramp sign. Those signs have been being stolen off the um, roads, so we know they're very popular. So um, <laughs> we have them in the raffle today if you'd like to get one of those. Um, the raffle um, for the swag is one ticket for $5 or five tickets for $20. And you must be present to win, so you get to stay all the way to the end. We'll do that raffle drawing at the end of the afternoon. Oh, here comes John with the signs. So those signs there um, uh, are, and, and we sell those on the website. They're twenty-five dollars a piece. So um, go up there and check out what's on the table. Um, we're going to have breaks because we'll have to change the musicians around a little bit. We are also have kayak raffle. This kayak raffle, this kayak will, the drawing will be on July the 8th at our annual meeting. Um, you can get raffle tickets for that. Again, they're $5 for one ticket or five tickets for 20. You can get those at the membership table. Um, this is exactly the kayak that I kayak in. Um, well, not exactly that one. One just like that. This one's never been in the water. Um, our sponsors for today, our donors are listed over on that little um, file over there. Um, please uh, support our sponsors, um, the Van Wilder Quarters Group, this restaurant, um, and their partners. Uh, Be Green today, Julie Golden, she's a local artist. Um, oh, I'm sorry that I don't have them all memorized. A lemongrass spa, uh, a lemongrass day spa. They have donated something to the silent auction. Um, Wilson Eye Center. Oh, there's a three, there's a three hundred dollar pair of um, glasses frames up there. Um, Eighty dollar minimum bid for Wilson Eye Care. You can get prescription sunglasses made out of those or regular glasses. They're beautiful pair of frames um, and uh, first magnitude. So please support our sponsors um, because they support us and they care about clean water. Woo! Hey. <laughs> The water trails, so the signage for the water trails, we bought the signs from Georgia DOT. cost $3,000 for us to buy those signs, so, um, you know, we have to raise the money to do that. Um, water quality testing kits are not free. You have to buy them. You have to pay for, uh, if you do um, more advanced, you have to send it to a lab. That costs money. So everything that we do costs money, um, so we appreciate your donations, and that's what we're doing, um, and we're raising awareness. So these songs, um, and the artwork um, are another way to reach people to help them appreciate the river because not everybody can go out and kayak or hike. Um, maybe when you came in you received a little program. Um, Lindsay and I talked about how the raffles will work. Visit the membership table. Um, out and sign up to volunteer. 
Um, we need water quality volunteers. Um, if you have access to the river where you go regularly, we would love to get you on the program. So now a word from our host. Will Eason is the manager here at Salty Stand. Letting us to kind of be the host for this event. Uh, you know, uh, we heard you guys want to come over with uh, the watershed uh, conservation. We know that y'all directly align with us on that one right there. You know what I mean? Uh, we're not exactly going to be in business very long if we don't have any fish to bring in. So we're definitely concerned with this clean, livable water. So we, uh, we definitely align with you guys on that. Uh, and from our hosts, uh, from our owners, Manuel, the Cooper's Restaurant Group, we wanted to thank y'all for uh, selecting local. You know, that's always uh, very important to us. All these uh, major groups, all these corporations, all that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of times they're able to beat us out on some stuff, but we do appreciate y'all making the sacrifice and coming over here and picking us and supporting your local communities. And uh, hopefully we can uh, just keep this going. And uh, hopefully maybe round two next year, something like that, always gets bigger and better every year. So uh, y'all enjoy. Let us know if there's anything else we can uh, get. Okay. Okay. Talk to Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It says an appreciation to the Salty Snapper first annual songwriting contest. So now we're going to have a word about walls from Dave Hetzel. Dave Hetzel is one of our founding board members and he is our ambassador. still do the things I'd like to do except get into a kayak or get out of a kayak. I can't do that. But I can do a lot of things behind the scenes. Four or five, six years ago I was minding my own business up in Tifton. I had just decided not to run for re-election for city council when I turned age 75. I wanted to let the young folks have a crack at it. And so my preacher's wife one day says, Dave, I know you're concerned about our rivers, and I've been going to a meeting down in Adel, Georgia, and I can't go to this one. Would you go for me? And that was the beginning. I showed up, and the quartermans were there, and I don't, and the Brett Wagon Horse will follow me, and I think that's probably the only ones that are in this room that were at that initial meeting that I went to. Anyway, we talked about the problems and the needs, and we met again in a month. First thing you know, we had incorporated 501c3 in the state of Georgia. We selected five, four, actually at that time we selected four rivers. With the Coochie, Willacoochee, Alapaha, and the Little River, all in South Georgia, right in the middle. They all flow south, flow into the Swanee. So we decided we wanted to be the Walls Watershed Coalition, Inc. Since then, we have grown. We have migrated south all the way down, incorporated the Swanee River, 
and we take in all the rivers in the Swanee watershed. We provide a lot of opportunities for folks to put their money where their mouth is, get out and see the beauty that God has given us in and on and around our rivers. We have paddle events every month. We have cleanup events as often as we can do it because you know what our society does today. They go through a fast food joint, put everything in a bag, drive down the road, eat their lunch or supper or breakfast and throw it out the window. And we know that, particularly with our plastic bags from the grocery stores, they're all going to blow into the river. And so we do a lot of education events uh, with our school kids, the folks, you know, maybe we can influence and, 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 if, and have an effect on the young folks. You know, we missed about two generations of education. And, you know, it goes right along with the parenting issue or lack thereof. So we do, uh, I said, paddle events, education events, cleanup events, and we spend a lot of money lobbying for or again various pieces of legislation and other events that uh, people want to build something that affects our environment. And I know the folks in Florida can relate to where I'm coming from or what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, everything's online, folks. W-W-A-L-S. Walls. Okay? We, uh, as Gretchen said, our membership table is set up in the other room. And that's where I am physically located today. I want to welcome you all here. Glad to have you. And, um, you know, bring money and keep all free. Thank you. Brett Wagenauer to talk about our colleagues. Thanks, Gretchen, and welcome everyone. Um, I got involved with Walls because of the uh, my love of being out on the rivers. I've been paddling since I was knee high to a grasshopper. Most of my paddling was done up in uh, Virginia, which is where I'm from. But when I came down here, uh, I fell in love with these blackwater rivers that are very different than anything that I had paddled on as a youth. I've been around the world and seen a lot of different waterways and amazing many different continents. And I can say without a doubt that some of the waterways down here are as pretty as, as any in the world. And uh, if you've not been out on them, I invite you to come out to one of the Walls uh, outings, which we hold, as Dave mentioned, monthly, and uh, experience them. We have paddle events that are good for beginners, and we've got paddle events that are good for experienced folks. And uh, once a month. And the next one is coming up on. Uh, Friday, July 27th at 7 p.m. It's a moonlight paddle on Banks Lake, which is a very special cypress pond up by uh, New Lakeland, uh, Georgia. And the one after that is going to be on the Alapaha uh, River on Saturday, August 11th uh, in the morning. Uh, if you're interested in any of these paddle events, uh, just go to the Walls website or the Walls Facebook page, and we have the uh, upcoming paddles posted for a couple of months in advance. Walk them on your calendar and come out and join us. So I think that our next person has a mouthful. I think I think is the um, program coordinator. She was the chairman of the committee that uh, did this event. So uh, and I think got back from France last night. So she is a uh, jet lag. Um, and she was starving. And um, I mean, come, please. Finally, here today, and I think songwriting is so appropriate to go with our rivers. 
because most people have never been on a river, especially the Swanee. It has a special musical sound to it anyway. So I think the river and the songwriting is a perfect match. Mm -hmm. So please enjoy the program and thank you so much for coming. My name is Eileen Box and I'm on the board. Thank you, Eileen. Now we have three awesome judges who have volunteered their time um, to come. And if you look on the little back on your program, um, you'll see that we have Cindy Bear from Jacksonville. Cindy's right there. I, I'm going to be dropping off this um, plaque of appreciation for Cindy Bear. It says 2018 Swanee Riverkeeper Songwriting Contest Special Appreciation, Cindy Bear. So. So thank you for coming all the way. Um, our next judge is Dr. Dan Cruz from Live Oak. Dan is um, a music educator. And uh, the same thing, thank you very much for volunteering your time this afternoon. A special appreciation, Dr. Dan Cruz. And our um, third um, judge this afternoon is uh, JJ, that's uh, John Jeffrey Bull. Um, he's a local musician and artist and um, all around awesome guy. Thank you for coming this afternoon. A special appreciation, JJ Bull. Yeah, if you don't line that up, John would take a little picture. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Super. Now, we're up to the part where finalists play. Somebody has written down the order of the finalists play. Could I have that, please? I got it. So, our first finalist, our first playing finalist, Emmett Carlisle from Gainesville, Florida. Um, we ask each of the musicians to mail in a little doodad about themselves. I'm working on my eighth CD of original song. 